What's poppin' boys and girls? It's your favorite failure on the internet. My name is Tins. I hope you guys are having a great day. So this video is gonna be about tips and tricks on how to be a successful YouTuber. I know I am extremely small, but you do not have to be the biggest person on YouTube to understand how to be a successful YouTuber. I've had a lot of requests for this video, actually. I know, surprise, people come to me for advice, right? It's really not that hard to be successful. It's literally, there's only three basic things that you can actually do, but I'm gonna give you guys five tips on how to be a better or just a successful YouTuber without struggles. YouTube is always gonna have your struggle. You're gonna have up moments, you're gonna have down moments, and it, it's just one of those things. So tip number one, be yourself. Don't try and act like anyone else. Don't go out of your way to do something. Be yourself, do what you enjoy doing. If you enjoy making, if you enjoy drawing pictures and that's what you want to post, then draw pictures and people will come to you for that and they'll get other people to do that. And then you can expand off of that. Um, if you enjoy making music, post videos about yourself making music and just enjoy what you're doing. Tip number two, be consistent. Now by consistent, I mean upload once, twice a week, upload on the same day, upload at the same time. So if you wanna upload every Monday and Thursday of the week, then if you wanna upload at 2 p.m. on Mondays, but you wanna upload at 8 p.m. on Thursdays, keep it consistent so that they're not always expecting a video at a random time on that day. Or if you wanna upload every other day, try and keep that time consistent. So upload Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, at 2 p.m. or at 4 p.m. Don't try and change up the date because people will know when to come back and how and what time you're gonna be posting. So they know, oh, maybe this is when I should make some free time. Tip number three, be original. Don't go out of your way to do something that has already been done. If it's a challenge and you wanna do that challenge, so be it. You wanna try and succeed in the challenge, but don't copy someone's work. Tip number four, collaborate with people. But collaborate with people your size. So if you have a thousand subscribers, collaborate with people between about 900 and 1,100 subscribers. Stay in that range. You don't wanna be that person that has 50 subscribers trying to get people with 1,000 subscribers because that just shows you, you just want attention. Whereas if you're collaborating with people that have about, say you have 50, you wanna collaborate with people that have no subscribers and about 100 subscribers. Keep it in a nice little range. So that it's like, oh cool, you wanna do this with me? Sure, you wanna do that with me? Sure. That you're enjoying what you're doing with people the same size as you. Whereas, if you have a thousand subscribers and you wanna collaborate with someone that only has 50 subscribers, then I applaud you because you're going out of your way to help someone small. One thing I hate about chargeable cameras, the battery died in the middle of recording tip number four to tip number five. So uh, with that being said, tip number five, market. Connect with people, collaborate with people, do all that fun stuff. But don't do that support for support or sub for sub crap because that never works and it also makes you look like a douche. Go into people's videos, comment, tell them that you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe to their channel. Um, never ask for the attention back though because that's what makes you look like a douche. Uh, you can go into their live streams whether it's on Twitch or YouTube. Um, connect with them on Twitter, follow them, just do all that good stuff on social media. And if you support people, people will support you back. That doesn't mean as soon as you get their support, stop supporting them. Because the more support you give is the more support you're going to get. I hope these five tips helped you out for starting and growing your YouTube channel. There is really not that much that you can do except for just post and hope for the best. Because at this point, 2018, hopefully 2019 is completely different. Or there's just a new software where everyone can start new. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know down below if you want to see more stuff like this. Also, let's go for uh, 15 likes because it's just a little quick short video. And make sure to subscribe. We're going to try and hit 7. I'm going to set a new goal for the end of the year. It's going to be 850 subscribers. I am nowhere near 1,000. We're only at like 710 as I'm recording this video. So we're going to go for 850 subscribers. And then by the time my birthday comes around, hopefully I have 1,000 if not more subscribers. So I'm going to set smaller goals and let's start breaking these small goals. Like I said, comment down below more stuff that you guys would like to see. Have a great day.